What's happening, y'all? Hey, welcome back to the farm. So I've got to get a little bit of chore done because we have too many chicks. It's time to move them out. So we gotta go get their pen ready and I thought I'd bring y'all along. Gotta move some other chicks over and uh, get some feed and water all set up for them. So y'all come on, let's get her done. I've got to catch those chicks and get them put into this brooder. But I need to put some fresh chips and get the waters and her feeders and all set up. So y'all, it might be funny watching me catch these chicks. I got their new pen all set up got some fresh bedding fresh water and fresh feed in the big roller top feeder now I got to catch them y'all all right that is all 12 of them. bigger brooder so now we can go in the house and get those others out of the incubator. Before we do that, I've got to get this one cleaned up a little bit and set up for the new chicks. Got them set up. I got them a gallon of water and I put a couple teaspoons or tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Got the hover brooder, it's warmed up and ready. Got them some feed. And when they're young chicks like this, I don't put my water on a riser. Normally I put my water on a riser just to help keep chips out of it. And same way with the food. I don't put the food on a riser until they get a little bit bigger. But I got them some new bedding down there and they're all ready to go. We can go inside and get them out of the incubator. Get them set up I'll show you what we do. I think but the last count I had was eight. So let's see how many chicks we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, we got nine total, little baby chicks. Y'all see them? So this is the first time that these guys have had any food or water whatsoever. They've been in the incubator without it. So I'm gonna always dip their beaks in the water to show them where they're at, where the water's at. That just helps them know where the water's at. They'll find the food, but you gotta show them where the water's at. All right, nine new chicks right there. They'll figure out how to get underneath that heat plate. It's kind of like their mama. They uh, crawl underneath there and they can put their back again it and that just warms them up just like the, the chicken itself would. So we don't use the uh, uh, heat lamps anymore our friend and our and boss his house burnt down from a heat lamp so we don't use them i probably got 30 of them but we don't use them anymore we use only that heat plate 
Well, this is the first video I've put out since the Oki Homesteading Expo. You know, we've been really busy. Uh, got an event for candy in the morning. It's local in Duncan. If you see this and you're out and around Duncan, we'll be in Fuquay Park from 9 a.m. to about 2. Y'all come see us, get some freeze-dried candy, or at least just say hi. Um, I'm going to try to get back on bigger videos, and we've been shooting a lot of shorts lately, but get back to getting some videos out there. I hope you learned something from this one. If you didn't, it's kind of the basics about chickens, nothing major. But we love you guys. If you hadn't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and, and uh, share our videos on social media. Challenge y'all to go be a blessing for someone else. God bless.